Hey y'all, Mattis Modern here. It is summer 2022 and you know what that means. The new MacBook Air M2 is just around the corner and I am so excited for this little machine. I actually picked up an M1 MacBook Air back in December trying to use it as my daily driver. But the screen just wasn't bright enough and I knew that the new MacBook M2 Air was right around the corner. So until, since then I've been using this M1 Pro it's a nice machine, but it is a tank. I mean, it is four, four and a half pounds once you get all of your accessories and charger. Uh, once you get your bag loaded up, it's pretty heavy. So it got me thinking, why not just pick up something smaller for a daily driver? So let's uh, look at some videos where I was reviewing the M1 Air against the MacBook Pro M1 uh, and the ergonomics and um, how well it was virtualizing parallels and using Revit and CAD drafting softwares. All right. So on the right, we have the 13 inch MacBook Air with eight core CPU, eight core GPU, 16 gigabyte unified memory, and one terabyte SSD on both of these. On the left, we have a MacBook Pro M1, 10 core CPU, two, 16 core GPU, 16 gigabytes of unified memory, and both of these are open box or refurbished units. Uh, always grab the discount on that. When I got this thing, I was annoyed at the thickness of the Pro. Uh, when you're sitting at a 30 inch table here, it's not that big of a deal, but the MacBook Air is a little more comfortable on the wrist. If you're sitting at a high table, the thickness of the Pro really becomes an issue. So much so that here I actually <laughs> grabbed one of the pillows uh, to prop me up a little higher and make my wrist uh, land of parallel next to the screen. With the air, this is not a problem at all. You can work at a high table, no problem. Uh, so then I wanted to test it up at a bar. Uh, the thing about a bar, it depends on the height of the chair. So with the Pro here actually is sitting pretty low, it's not feeling too bad. But the air uh, has that nice low profile and your wrists are gonna sit very nice and flat either way. Of course, the MacBook Pro does have the bigger 16 inch screen. Uh, when you're having this in your lap, it's much more stable and good for typing. Uh, the Air I found a little flimsy when it's in the lap, a little small, actually harder to control. Now, there's also the test of uh, grabability with the Air. No problem, you can grab it one handed and get everything set up. With the Pro, uh, you can grab this guy with one hand, but it's not recommended. You wanna put a second hand on there and then get to work. At the end of the day, I ended up going for the 16 inch MacBook Pro because I wanted that extra 100 minutes of brightness. It just really makes a big difference, a big pop when you're working in a bright environment, such as a WeWork, an office, outside, or maybe your home just has a lot of natural light. So don't take it lightly, as they say here, Consider the M2 when it comes out. I think this is gonna be an awesome machine uh, for not only running parallels and virtualization softwares, getting your windows up and running, running Revit, AutoCAD, but it's gonna be just great for uh, going to the coffee shop, working beside the pool. Um, it's gonna be really lighten your load uh, per se, because I'm, I'm definitely considering this, it's gonna be half the weight pretty much of my M1 Pro. So it's got all the new features. It's got Touch ID, it's got MagSafe, it's got the better web camera. Uh, this is truly the next generation of Apple's MacBook Pros. I keep saying Pro, but it's, this is actually a MacBook Air. But uh, once you check out the specs on this thing, it's really not that far away from last year's Pro. It's got also eight core CPU, and it's got two more GPU cores than the Air had last year. Uh, it's got up to 24 gigabytes of unified memory, what they call RAM, and you can get it specced up to two terabytes of storage. Now, I realize that all these options cost a lot of money. Uh, you wanna do what's best for you, find the right Mac for you, find the right Mac for your budget, uh, and for your workflow. Uh, for me, I've been hitting the 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm thinking about moving up to the 24 once this thing comes out. So hope y'all are having a good summer and I can't wait until July when we can put an order in on this. This is Mattis Modern, the channel for architecture, life, technology, and Apple product reviews for people who actually work on their computer and don't just make Adobe Premiere videos all day.
All right, best of luck to you and keep clicking away.